Okay, so students, we are starting the process of in-grain dyeing, and the first thing that we're going to do is um, use our uh, compound um, ANS to create Easter purple. So the diazonium salt that we created prior is uh, one of the portions of the Easter purple molecule. The other one has the abbreviation ANS, and altogether it should look like this structure uh, molecularly. We won't be able to see the structure uh, once we have the solution made, but uh, you know we will see the effects of the two compounds coming together on the fabric. All right, so I will measure. I will measure my uh, ANS molecule, and oh, let me tear my beaker first. And I am measuring out 100 milligrams or 0.1 grams of ANS. All right, students, so I have dissolved my 100 milligrams of ANS into 35 milliliters of water, and we have a pretty clear but yellow solution. So, uh, you know, and I mixed it around just to ensure that all of my solid has dissolved. Uh, the diazonium salt solution from the previous uh, steps is still here, and it's uh, dissolved in water as well, and it's also a somewhat clearish solution. I'm going to take my strip of fabric, and I'm going to immerse it into my diazonium salt solution first, and ensure that it is very, very well immersed and fully uh, saturated with the compound. And we're going to leave it in here for a minute or two just to ensure that it fully absorbs the solution. Uh, in your textbook, the instruction says to start with the ANS, but in reality, you can start with either solution and uh, then move the fabric to the next uh, compound. Okay, so it's been about a minute or two, and my fabric strip has been immersed in the diazonium salt solution. If you notice, even the wool fiber down at the bottom here is turning slightly, slightly yellow, so that indicates to me that we have uh, some good absorption going on here. I'm going to go ahead and just rotate it one more time. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and pat dry the fabric strip before we immerse it in the next solution. And this is just so that we don't, uh, you know, create diazonium salt off of the fabric. Okay, now I'm going to ask Lee to bring the uh, camera a little bit closer so that you can observe this reaction in real time. So our next step is to add the fabric strip to the solution of ANS, and the ingrain coupling, uh, the coupling reaction should happen immediately. So let me pull the fabric strip up so we can see how the solution has dyed. And if you notice here, we have an uh, Easter purple, which is a very, very dark purple color. I'm going to grab a beaker of water to rinse this in. And let me just turn around and grab my beaker of water. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and rinse this off in the beaker of water and just remove any excess dye. Okay, so now that I've rinsed off the excess liquid. You can see we have a very, very dark uh, Easter purple coloration happening on all of the different fabric types. Uh, if I wash this a little better with uh, some more water, then we will see it clear up a little bit. But uh, what you will notice here is that the wool color at the bottom has colored the darkest, and also your cotton fiber, which is the second square of uh, fabric, is also extremely dark. segment we're going to take a look at the synthesis of the compound known as American Flag Red. Uh, on this worksheet I have uh, drawn out the compound that is known as American Flag Red. It's a combination of uh, two napfal, which is this half, and the diazonium salt that we created in the previous portion. So uh, it's the same diazonium salt that we used for Easter Purple, 
and uh, we'll be able to couple it with a new compound known as 2 -methyl. So I have measured out uh, 200 milligrams or 0.2 grams of the uh, 2 natural compound. And if you notice here, it's quite chunky and large flecks. And so I'm going to go ahead and add my water solution to this and stir it up as best I can. We're going to warm the solution in order to uh, you know, help it dissolve better. And then besides water, we're also going to add some sodium hydroxide to the solution. So I'm going to add 5 milliliters of a 2.5 molar uh, solution of sodium hydroxide to my solution, and that should help the 2 napthol uh, dissolve even more. And as we gets closer, we will see that the solution is now uh, a little bit more viscous due to the addition of the sodium hydroxide. And I'm going to continue stirring here until we get this solid dissolved. And then uh, we have the, the diazonium salt solution as well. So, repeat the whole process here. So, can I have a fabric strip? And then I set out another pair of tensors right here. Okay, so we're ready? All right, so students, we are uh, completing our American flag red synthesis here. And so I'm going to go ahead and immerse our fabric strip in the diazonium salt solution. And this is the same diazonium salt solution that we prepared in the previous video and used for the Easter purple. And so I'm just making sure that our fabric strip is fully immersed and absorbing all of that diazonium salt solution. And in my second beaker here, I have uh, dissolved some 2 naphthol. Um, it is 200 milligrams of 2 naphthol dissolved in 35 milliliters of water and 5 milliliters of 2.5 molar sodium hydroxide. So here's the sodium hydroxide that I added to the solution. Uh, we warmed it up on the hot plate to ensure that all of the solid has dissolved. And uh, now we will hopefully uh, create the coupling reaction between um, the diazonium salt and 2 naphthol. Again, this is to synthesize the compound American Black Red. All right. So let me just go ahead and pat this slightly with a paper towel, and we will be ready to move on into the next solution. And one more time, just so you can see, the wool at the bottom of the fabric strip has colored slightly yellow when um, the diazonium salt is applied to the fabric strip. And I'm just, again, patting it dry so that we don't have too much uh, solution hanging out besides what we want adhering to the fabric strip. I am now placing the fabric strip into the solution of 2 napthol, and we should see American flag red result in just a moment. So if you notice here, the colors that I'm getting are a little bit orangish and not necessarily extremely red, but the reason for that is the fabrics here are not the same type that the first American flag was made with. So down here we have wool, and up here we have cotton, and I believe cotton is probably the closest in color to uh, what we would consider red, but the other fibers are pretty much a orangish color and let me dunk it again to try to increase the adhesion uh, and for this one we don't want to leave it too long in the um, hydroxide solution if you notice the wool down here at the bottom is warping slightly and that's because wool is uh, reactive towards base, it actually disintegrates in base. So uh, we want to try to take it out as soon as we possibly can so that we can maintain the integrity of the wool. All right, now this has been synthesis of uh, American flag red using ingrain dye method.